right, welcome back to the Fox 8 News at 7. I'm Natalie Wilson, and I have just had the best assignment of the day. I don't know how you can beat this. I'm live at Fan Fest ahead of the big race weekend. Look at this crowd. They're still coming, guys. I love that. They probably started trickling in around 2.30, 3 o'clock today, and they have not stopped coming. They are loving the driving simulators that you see under the canopies and the tents over there. Kids making their way to the track with the toy cars and in the distance over there the ferris wheel all of that happening while we've got a concert going i'm peeking over here and i'm seeing some people line dance okay I hopefully i can get a shot of that for you a little bit later but all of that to say the excitement in wilkesboro in North Wilkesboro, it can be felt all across the area, and we'll continue to bring you some of the action of what's happening as we move into the evening hours. In the meantime, I'm going to send it back to my colleague, Mike Lannessy, in the studio to give you your local headlines. Yeah, we want to see that line dancing, Natalie, so we'll check back in with you here in just uh, you a, got it. a couple you got of minutes. <laughs> Don't be afraid to jump in. Let's check back in. Natalie, what's going on? Man, Michael, you got to have a sense of humor with live TV. Let me tell you, the song just ended and you guys came to me and people were out here no. doing an amazing job doing their boot scoot and boogie. And I, I should have read faster. You, so I should have read faster. I'm sorry, guys. I was hoping to get that shot for you. Okay, it sounds like they're picking back up. I'm going to see if they're going to do a little another number for us, but just keep your eyes on the people there in the middle of your screen. They're kind of close to the stage there. Maybe they're discussing their next routine or what they want to do next, but. We shall see, but nonetheless, it was a lot of fun to watch, and that's what this is all about. People just letting their hair down, having a good time, and enjoying what the town has to offer this weekend and beyond, and hopefully people will come back after they've had an amazing experience. So, Charles, I don't know. I couldn't give you dancing out here, but maybe you could do a little something for it in the studio to make up for it. Well, maybe, just maybe. If I hear enough of that music you get there <laughs> at the Wilkes Burrows, we can, you know, do a little dance here. But for now, we we're talking about cloudy skies. I got all kind of help coming your way. Those are two of the more than 30 911 calls our news team just finished listening to from parents and young athletes frantic to escape a chaotic afternoon at the AAU Junior Olympics at North Carolina A&T. Good evening and welcome to the Fox 8 News at 7. I'm Natalie Wilson. New tonight, we now know Guilford EMS treated 11 people. We were told at least 10 earlier. Fox 8's Caroline Boyer got to the bottom of what caused the commotion and why this now means a trip cut short for some families. This is the update that so many people have been waiting on, including Devin's mother, Tiffany. Hi, how you doing? I'm doing well, Tiffany. Thank you so much. Please know I wish we were meeting under very different circumstances. <laughs> um, two weeks have gone by, no update. You finally get the phone call this afternoon. What was that like? It was a big relief, big pain relief from my heart. You know, it still hurts, but it was a big relief. It was like, I'm so shocked right now. I don't know if I want to cry, just be happy, or what. It's just, it's just a lot. It's, it means a lot to me. Wow. Why do you say you were shocked? Was it because the days just kept it's going just by? Because um, I was just in process to just go talk to my lawyer today to find out some information or do what I was going to do, whatever. And I got a phone call, and it was, did I know that the person was in custody? And it was a shocking because it was like, I just left my lawyer. And I didn't hear nothing about nobody being in custody, so it's like, wow, like, oh my God, are you serious? Is this real? So it was, it was a lot for me to take on right then, but I was happy at the same time. Wow, wow. And it was the sheriff himself, the Orange County Sheriff, who called you this afternoon. Mm -hmm. uh, what was that conversation like? What was he able to tell you? He was just um, asked who I, you know, who I was. I told him who I was. And he was just telling me that um, they have the 17-year-old 17 ju 17 juvenile in custody. And I was asking questions like, well, can you tell me who it was? But, and they informed me that they couldn't tell me at this time because he's 17, he's a juvenile, and they have to, you know, process him and get everything situated to charge him for the adult. Once they get all the information, they will put in, you know, breaking news with the information of who the person might be. Okay, okay. So in the meantime, is that, you talked about the relief, but is that also hard to still not know to put a it name is. or a face? It's still hard. But I'm not finished with justice yet, though. Justice is still, it's still going to be going. I'm going to still get some more answers because just because they got a person in custody don't mean that it's over and done with. It would never be over and done with. It's more to this case than what it is. So 
I'm going to keep fighting to find out what's going on with this case. The race for mayor in Greensboro, in charge since 2013, Nancy Vaughn. City Council member Justin Outling is battling for her seat. Let's get to know the candidates. Mayor Vaughn grew up in the Northeast, moved to Greensboro in the late 80s, and started her public service work in 1997. The mother of three has served in all three city council positions. Her opponent, an attorney, appointed to represent District 3 in 2015. Mr. Outling was raised in New York, is a UNCG and Duke Law School grad, and the father of two. Tonight, the candidates take a stance on three big challenges, crime, housing, and the economy. Their solutions on issues that matter to you as they both fight to win your vote. Good evening and thank you for joining us for this mayoral debate. I'm Bob Buckley alongside Natalie Wilson. We are your host tonight. And Mr. Atlin, you just brought up the police department, which brings me to my next question. I want us to stay with crime, but transitioning to police. So police play an important role in keeping crime under control. Former Chief James was transparent about the staffing strain. Right now, there are 61 openings for sworn officers on the force. That's up from 47 on February 1st. The average salary for most officers on the force is just under $54,000. Mr. Outling, what is your plan to fill those vacancies aside from increased pay? You have 60 seconds. Mayor Vaughn, same question to you. How are you going to make sure there are viable housing options in all zip codes from East Greensboro to West Greensboro to downtown? You have 60 seconds. Thank you for that question because that is one of the most important issues that we have facing us. Neighbor's doorbell camera captured her early yesterday morning, so searchers are asking everyone in that area to check their cameras going back to about 1.30 yesterday morning. The other thing that Daniel also just touched on, they want you to check your storage buildings and backyard patios anywhere she may have made herself comfortable. Ms. Dawkins was last seen wearing a blue long sleeve shirt, slippers and pajama pants. If you have any information about where she might be, give High Point Police a call. We know God has um, his hands on this situation and she's gonna be home soon. A High Point family pleading for your help to find their loved one tonight. 81-year-old Hetty Dawkins has been missing since 1.30 this morning. Police say the last confirmed sighting of Ms. Dawkins was at 9 a.m. near her home on Blockhouse Court. Multiple agencies are searching areas within a one-mile radius of the home, including along Penny Road. That's where Fox 8's Caroline Boyer is live. Caroline, you spoke with Ms. Dawkins' family. I can't even begin to imagine how they're feeling, but what did they say regarding how they're doing tonight? Natalie, they are scared. Breaking tonight, closure in the search for Hetty Dawkins, and unfortunately, it is not the news anyone wanted. But after seven days, police believe they have found the 81-year-old's body. This is a live look at the scene on Hickswood Road in High Point. The crime scene ta taken down in the last 20 minutes. Fox 8 was the first crew on the scene in the 2300 block of Hickswood Road. This started as a crime scene investigation after someone reported they found a body in a yard outside a home. And there you have it. After a nationwide search, Guilford County Schools did not have to look far after all for its next superintendent. Dr. Whitney Oakley will now lead the third largest school district in North Carolina, becoming the first superintendent from Guilford County to lead this school district. Dr. Oakley comes to the table with a lot of experience and perspective, having served as a teacher, a principal, chief academic officer, deputy superintendent, and most recently acting superintendent. She said that I have big dreams and hopes for the future, and she's excited to get to work. All right, we're giving you one more look at Fan Fest in North Wilkesboro. Finally, guys, I was able to give you the shot I wanted to give you. How fitting to show people line dancing, just having a good time on what's been a spectacular event and a spectacular evening. It's been so much fun bringing you this coverage. I hope you've enjoyed watching us. Even if you're not here, I hope you have felt like you are here. And this is just the beginning for us. We're going to continue our coverage tonight on the Fox 8 News at 10 and 11. In the meantime, we want to leave you with a beautiful shot from our photojournalist, Chris Weaver, with one of the haulers going into the Speedway. Have a great night.